Black Panther, Wakanda forever, everybody, and Mason specifically. Hello. So, Mason, this movie has a budget, believe it or not, of $250 million. I believe it. That's a big budget. Yes. He's right, everybody, to agree with me on that. Uh, it's looking at this point a U.S. box office opening weekend of between 175 to 185 million dollars. This is via Deadline. It's a lot of bread. Plus, yeah. uh, if you it's true. Plus, if you look at the international box office as well, it looks like it's going to be around 300 million dollars worldwide at minimum, if not more. And that's opening weekend. It's opening weekend. So these are very good initial numbers if these turn out to be true. Huge if true. Huge if true. But then, of course, there's legs and et cetera and so forth. And will Avatar there's knock what? it There's off? legs. There's legs, like if it's got legs oh, for sure. a week. Because okay. it's got to go up against some other uh-huh. stuff before the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Namely Avatar, but that's not for another month-ish. I can't remember. It's not important. But what is important is whether you remember what the story was. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Here so, we go. So Black Panther. Yep. Well, he's he 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 no longer with us. He he died. That'd be sad. Yeah, that'd be sad. But mm. uh, but everybody's got to keep on trucking, don't they? Yep. They keep on trucking because there's trouble. There's trouble out in the world, and people are like, "Hey, we're, we're kind of give us your vibranium. Go on, go on. No, give me it. Give me the vibranium. Come on, mm. come on. You got t- you got heaps. You need to just give me. We a, have none. We give us a little vibranium. Come on. We won't make. We won't make. We won't. We won't make bombs with it. <laughs> we promise. We won't make any bombs with it. Come on. Yeah, what, we're gonna take it. Oh, you've stopped us. Yeah. But then, what if? Mm, they would have. What if the submariner was there? Mm. It'd be a different story, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it, it would be is. this story. Black Panther will kind of forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plot of mm. this movie. Absolutely. Now, coming out of this, I'm like, I don't think that was very well paced. I think it's really missing Chadwick Boseman. Mm-hmm. I think, he, like, from seeing this, like, he was clearly cast very well and did that role yeah. perfectly. And there's a big element of that, you know, obviously with his passing, you you can't put him in it unless you recast it. That's true. So I think... Like structurally, and I don't think the storyline and the combination of, you know, Namor and those two kingdoms battling and then the relation to everybody else, I don't really think any of that worked. Any well. of it? Not any, no, sorry. It didn't work as I well as I would have liked. Yeah. I should have let you finish And I think it's like, it's, it's long. It this feels one. long. Uh-huh. Uh, but I also think there's a lot of things that it does, like the things that it does really well is the character stuff. And the strength of the performance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what that's what that's that's where I am with this movie. That's mm-hmm. what I think absolutely like gets it over the line. Okay, right. What about you? It certainly was long. Yeah. <laughs> and look, there is a moment in this where we do see some old footage of Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. And you go, man, that guy shines very bright. Yeah. Like this Damn, guy was a real sucks. star. Yeah. And like you see, you see the charm and the charisma of the yeah. guy and it's like – yeah, would have would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the the thing about this movie is I think the performances are really good, and I think it is a great sort of exploration of loss. In definitely, and, you know, and yeah. I and I I think per- perhaps if if you are you are out there and you are dealing with some loss, mm. might not be the best movie for you. Sure. Of, yeah. But or even if this was yeah. like a character or an actor like that affected you personally, you know, which, yeah, which sure. can definitely you know, yeah, yeah, be yeah. the case. Or or even if again, like you you're out there going. You know these movies are action-packed, fun blockbuster roller coasters, and and I don't want to think about that sort of thing. Mm. Perhaps this isn't going to hit as well as you would hope. Yeah, but I think that the it's the, tonally more the Eternals, which sounds bad, but I guess the stakes of the Eternals is different because like I don't care right? about any of them. So like, oh, druids, whatever, or so and so got stabbed by what's his. Face. Kingo. Kingo. Well, yeah. That's, well, Kingo oh, was there. Kingo was there. Like, I don't care. He was there and then he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, but the difference. Which, then he came back. Yeah, but I just mean like tonally it's mm-hmm. it's pretty serious and characters who were silly or, or over the top or quite lighthearted just pivot wildly in this for obvious reasons, which – which I liked, you mm. know. It's it's yeah, it's yeah. a pretty fucking somber affair for a well, Marvel it is, movie. It is a yeah. somber affair, and I guess you know. And I I I would be a hypocrite if I said you know Marvel needs to branch out and do more things, and uh, and they can't just be silly action vehicles now yeah. and have them do something else and be like, well, I didn't like that. Mm. I did like this. I thought this yeah. was this was very good. I think there was some probably. Uh, I think the introduction of Namor was good and the introduction of the Marvel Universe's version of Atlantis, which is called Talacan. Yeah, because they were like, well. You can't say Atlantis. They already did it. Yeah, yeah, they already did it. I liked all the tweaks to that and what they made of the culture and all of that. And I think, look, I'll talk more about the underwater stuff, but like the the costuming on that, incredible. And they really like Namor is a hard character to do to uh translate, and they changed 
quite a lot of him. Mm-hmm. Like he's, you know, he doesn't have the slicked back widow's peak and all That's of true, that. Yeah. He's less like a dolphin man and he looks like a real kind of guy, you know? Yeah. And I, but I think all of that works really well. And I think he's really good. Yeah. But they, they even made him having little wings kind of menacing. Yeah, they did. Like you hear the, the you know, you hear the buzz of the, like a mosquito, <laughs> Mason, yeah. which is <laughs> you're coming in. Is that one of them skeeters? Oh, no, yeah. stay more. And they say he's a mutant. Like they straight up just say, yeah, he's a mutant. Mm. We can say that now. They look at the camera and they go, we, we can say so that now. now yeah. So don't even worry about it. But I think you're right in the sense of what they do with grief in this. And there's just like sadness and rage and making sense of everything. And where do you put all of that? Yeah. I think it does a really good job. Could and I what, have fixed him with DNA? Could I have, could fixed I have him moved with DNA? some balls around and, and d- fixed him done with DNA? Some DNA stuff maybe. But I think, you know, if you look at like Shuri's arc for this, who's more of a central role, if not the central role in this movie, but there's a few people who obviously step up. Mm-hmm. Her arc is very similar to T'Challa's arc in Civil War. Right. You know, like looking for revenge. Maybe that's, you know, doing a big revenge is not where you're going to find peace and maybe the people who are left you know who have left they don't want that for you or you know don't they don't want to be revenged mm. i also thought it was interesting that there's a there's a line in this or a moment and it's from shuri where she talks about how she's angry that this happens in the very opening sequence so it's we'll do major spoilers so i guess it's a minor spoiler if you haven't seen it but they ex- explain that he's sick and they don't name the illness mm. but it seems as if though that he, he kept it a secret yes and she's mad that he kept it a secret because she could have helped him. Like Chadwick Boseman kept his. Yeah, and I just wonder whether that was like one of the writers or Ryan Coogler or that was an idea. I don't know, but I just think that felt to me like, and not a blaming of Chadwick Boseman because of course he's allowed to keep it a secret. Uh That was his personal kind of burden. But Mm. just like if you were close to somebody like that and you didn't know, I could see how you would be like, that really sucks that you didn't tell me that that you were going through that. But again, that's... That's not for you know. That also is like selfish to be like, why didn't you tell me right, that yes. you were you were so yeah. unwell? Or like the idea of like, well, why why didn't you trust me enough to you know exactly. that, that kind of thing? You know, yeah. But I think I don't know. I don't know Chad, Chadwick Boseman, but it just seemed as if like he just thought, you told me you did know Chad. I didn't know Boseman. him at all, Mason. I was huh. lying. But <laughs> I just wanted to think you to think I was cool. But <laughs> well, it didn't work. <laughs> I said, why don't you bring Chadwick Boseman to my birthday party? And you were like, he was busy. It seemed as if, like, yeah, he didn't want people to know and he thought he was going to get better up until, like, the very end. Mm -hmm. And I I saw an interview with Ryan Coogler. I read an interview where, like, they spoke a few weeks before and Ryan Coogler was like, yeah, he sounded like he was lying down. He was like, do you want me to send the script over? And apparently a lot of elements for this are the same. Like, it was always going to be Namor and all of that. And, uh... And Chadwick Boseman was like, "Ah, oh, no, look, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it, whatever. Don't worry. Like, I'll read it in a bit. And that was the last time that they spoke. You know who is really good in this, though? Go on. Angela Bassett. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That speech that she does about what, like, what's been taken from her and what she's given up. Incredible. Mm. She's, I think, hands down, like, the best thing in this movie. I don't know whether you want to name a better thing, Mason. Martin Freeman <laughs> as <laughs> Agent Ross. I could take a leave. You see him jogging? You having a bit of a jog? That whole section, the they, sub, the sub. they could take that out. Well, um, Martin Freeman is in this. I like those yeah. two as well. It's a Martin Freeman and um, what's Ju- her name? Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah. Yeah. And it's clearly setting up Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts and, and whatever yeah. else. But just I think that could have been like two scenes yeah, they as could opposed have... to just have this running thing going. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like that was the only element that was that was linking this to the larger Marvel universe, yeah. or or not. It, or someone says Namor's as strong as Hulk. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what I think. All right. Maybe even as strong as Thor. I think. <laughs> that's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Maybe maybe even as strong as Kang the Conqueror. We haven't seen <laughs> yet, but I've heard I've heard rumors that he's super strong. He's the toughest bad guy yet. Yeah, I think. What do you think of that? Like. Comparing character strengths and, and all of that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I like it. I think it's fun yeah. to be like a match to fools around and whatever. Mm. What was I going to say there? Oh, yeah. So obviously, you know, Black Panther exists in the wider Marvel universe, but I the, the, the parts that felt the most like, here's how we connect this to the next mm. scene. It's the or the next movie. Here it is. Yeah. Here's, here's, the, here's the Easter egg stuff you want. It was the the Everett Ross and, uh, and, yeah. and the Contessa scenes. Which, yeah. again, could have been a post-credits. Could have been. Or... You know, the scene at the start and the scene at the end. Maybe yeah. even a scene in the middle, Mason. Ooh. But I mean, they were like, you know, they, they were married at one point, it seems, and whatever. But yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't super invested in that. Maybe we will be later when we're like, oh, that's what this is what happened in the previous movie. <laughs> right. And they said Namor's as strong as the Hulk, I think. 
Also, another thing that I liked about this. Go on. The costuming mm. and the world building of Wakanda in particular. Yes. I mean, goddamn. Like, obviously, it seems as if, a, like, it feels like real sets. Yeah, yeah. And, like, real costumes. And I think, you know, with, like, Thor, Love and Thunder, uh-huh. there was a lot of, like, this looks like nowhere. No, that's like, true, yeah. Not the, the big floating celestial They, they head. wouldn't have had time to, like, course correct. So I imagine this is just... Yeah. Ryan Coogler's gone, we need real sets. Like, it, well, I don't think it was a reaction to Thor, Love and Thunder. No, not at all. Absolutely not. But it just, it, like, I thought Wakanda was really well fleshed out in the previous movie that we talked about, was that four years ago, five Trillion years, years ago? ago? I can't remember. Th- really, really good. Now, I agree with you, except for, I feel like in the previous movie, everybody in Wakanda had, like, a very specific, like, look to, like... Even Do you mean all... of, like, different regions and Yeah, stuff, no, I or... mean even the civilians. Just okay, the people yeah. in the town had, like, a look that was sort of unique to this country, specifically okay, this nation. Yeah. Whereas I think in this one it's just, like, you just see a guy in shorts and a T-shirt. <laughs> okay. Like, just some regular people, and I'm like, honest. all right, yeah, okay. Maybe that's what they wow. do. Also, I guess there's been more connection between oh, the outside true. world, yeah. so maybe that was an element that's of right. it. But, no, I didn't, I didn't notice that at all. Okay. But just seeing even, like, just a council of... People in Wakanda like sitting around, and just the variety of looks that you yep. get just from that. Well, I, I love I love this. Awesome. There, there is a scene set in the UN where yeah, the Queen and her her entourage arrive, and the, just the contra- Johnny drama turtle. <laughs> That's right, E. Vince <laughs> <laughs> is uh, dead. Uh, oh. No. Yeah, oh, the original well, Aquaman. He was. He's dead. Well, that's. I mean. Well, then they need. And they need to join a new entourage. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. But when she who shows, better than Angela yeah. Bassett? And everybody looks so dull, but the Wakandans. Yeah. Look, you know, they, they've got that incredible the real, look, which is that that scene I liked because there are obviously they go out into the the, the real world, I guess, and that, the, I, I loved that, and it's got just the UN and the French Mason just hitting them up for like. Wakanda technology and uh-huh. vibranium specifically, yeah. And you know, you f- and the way that un- that scene unfolds, I thought was was great. And again, Angela Bassett just amazing mm. in this. I I will say, like as I mentioned this earlier, I like the look of Namor and I like the look of his people when they're in the water. Their their skin color is regular, mm-hmm. and they come out of the water and then they're blue. Yes, and presumably he's not like that because he's a mutant, so he can do both. Something to do with oxygenation of the blood. I Maybe. assume that's going on there. Mm. I know there was comparisons between that and like Avatar, but I don't think so. I didn't think of that. I think it's I think it's fine. Uh But I think also a lot of the Kree are blue as well. So yeah, exactly. But there's a moment where we get a character doing a tour of Namor's underwater city Uh and like the the majesty of it, and look at all these different communities and whatever. And I'm like, this sucks. (laughs) This is dreary and it's Uh dark and foggy. Yeah, and like I'm just comparing. What do you eat, plankton? Yeah, it looks terrible. And and like you're just all you're all hunched in a cave. Yeah, like Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman is not a perfect movie, but just the over the top. And I'm not saying do that design. Yeah, right. But the over the top nature and there's like a. Like octopus, octopus playing, playing drums. the drums and giant arenas and whatever, and I just I didn't get any of that from this. Well, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they obviously needed a point of difference, and they've gone what, with to kind make of it <laughs> dreary, and dreary sad. and sad. Yes, yeah. and, and kind of you know, you know, it has, it's more sort of Aztec Mayan inspired as opposed to yeah, and that I like that design element mm-hmm. but i didn't see any of that when they were like swimming around like waving at everybody right sure, sure. i didn't get that at yeah, all a lot of it like, until they get to there's a there's a point where we get to kind of like what i guess is sort of a the palace or you know yeah. what, but prior to that it just a lot of it just looks like salvaged junk yeah exactly and th- i think maybe that also speaks to because namor introduces himself fairly early on and he's like i've got this infinite army that mm. i could you know that i could bring down on you if i wanted to and I just – maybe that's just not true. I didn't get the sense that he mm. has that at all. Was he lying? Oh, great question. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know either. Um, I, I loved his arrogance though. That oh, was, yeah. yeah. That's that's some classic Namor stuff, Mason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, again. Mm. I was also a bit confused in terms of like how powerful these – and who cares about power levels and whatever. But there's a really good fight near the start where Okoye has a spear and she fights a bunch of them on a bridge. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she like kills like six of them mm-hmm. and then they all like get up afterwards. Yes. But I don't know why that happened because it doesn't happen again. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Is that – are they special? Or maybe – maybe Did the, she miss <laughs> – Maybe she missed all their vital organs. I yeah. don't think she did. Okay. Maybe their vital organs are in different spots. Maybe no, she learned later. I mean, they're just people really mostly, aren't they? Yeah, they're fish people, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Some, but do you know what I mean by I that? Know, yeah, I do know what you mean, yeah. Because then later they're just – 
you know, there's you get big battles later. Yeah, but maybe that maybe the Wakandans upgraded after that. I mean, they did. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and maybe they were, and maybe they were like the elite fighting force that are maybe. special and magic. They and can move their organs around in their bodies. Maybe they can. I, I yeah. don't know. I don't know anything about that. Uh, who else do we get in this? We get. Uh, it was nice to see Lupita Nyong'o again. She's great, Nakia. Yeah, it's yeah. great when she turned up because she's not in it at the start. No, and she's not yeah. in. You don't see her in any of. You don't see her in anything post Black Panther. She's not in. Any of the event, like she's not in no. Infinity War or anything like that. What's she up to? School teaching. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We also don't see Daniel Kaluuya's character because he's he, been he's in jail. He's been outsourced. Yes. Oh, no. Yep. No, he's been what are they exiled? He's just but he just lives outside the village, being like, oh man, I shouldn't have tried to take over Wakanda. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, yeah. And he's, uh, but anyway, uh, great to see Lupita Nyong'o. But you could bring. You know what else was interesting about going through all of these different characters and seeing like Mbaku and whatever uh-huh. and Okoye and like any of them, I'd be like. Any of these people could be Black Panther. Yes, they're exactly, all like right? compelling yeah. enough and good enough actors uh-huh. that they they could do it. Yeah, mm. uh, and we got of course Dom, uh, the debut of Dominique Thorne as Riri Williams. Yeah, what do you think about that? Because I saw some people who are like it's too shoehorned in. Oh, I didn't I didn't mind it, but I wouldn't say I wasn't like wow, I love this design and and all of that. It kind of mm. looked like a Funko Pop suit, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the character, I think. Yeah. Um, big, like, Tom Holland, early Spider-Man vibes. Yes. Of, like, being dragged into this larger world and being, like... Yeah, I and, thought that was yeah. fun. There's an initial meeting where mm. where um, a couple of the Wakandans go to visit her at a university and they're like, hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, like, I like the gun on the, the gun on the arm of the... Yeah. The suit and all of that. You know what I thought was interesting? I feel like there were a couple of sort of what should have been like really huge establishing shots of thir- certain things, but they were just sort of obscured in darkness. Which like when you first particular? see when you first see Namor, I think he's just sort of like Oh yeah. Just sort of in a pond? Yeah, in a <laughs> pond. It's sort of a you know, and then and Do you think that was an element of mystery? Or maybe. Being like, what's all this about? But also when we see Ironheart, like the first Ironheart prototype suit, it's just Yeah, you don't of, see much of it, you? Do don't you? see much of it, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right in that, yeah. Mm. I'm like, they, 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 it felt like those should have been moments where we're like, whoa. Yeah. You know? No, that's fair enough. Yeah. I don't disagree. It's a killing that. machine. She's built a killing machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is good about this as well? The soundtrack. Really, really good. Uh, just just good stuff all around. That's right. Good beats, Mason. Good yeah. guitar riffs that's towards right. the end. I'm like, ooh. Bullet with butterfly wings. <laughs> House of the Rising Sun. Other things that were in Suicide California Squad. love when they Calif- go to California. California dreaming. <laughs> Californication. Yeah. You know, all the greats. I mentioned uh, there's the bridge fight, mm-hmm. which I, which was just a Koya, which I really liked. There's a moment where Wakanda, there's an, there's an invasion, uh-huh. and just seeing Wakanda, like, get slowly flooded, I mm. thought was really great imagery yeah, yeah you know you just see like it trickle in and it's like it's building up in the streets and people start to notice and then there's a panic and there's there's the bomb the water bombs and not like a water bomb like that you'd throw <laughs> within a garden mason oh, sure sure not sure. just a balloon with some water mm-hmm, in it but yes. more like a grenade of, of water whoa i thought that was really good and i thought also the end battle of this was visually way stronger than what they did in the first movie. Yes, which because it was people with different powers. Yeah, and that was also like the last movie was was rushed as well. Like they they had like a couple of weeks to do that last fight, you know, in the underground oh, yeah, train right. and the suits. Uh-huh. And yeah, yeah. they also did away with the nano suit, which most for the most part, mm. which I think is good. They also didn't do much of those, I've absorbed your powers and I'll punch you with your powers. That's true. Like the suit has it because you see that purple ripple. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can we spoil who's Black Panther in this? Let's get let's, I'm the, gonna, look, I'm going to let's – uh, do we have much more to say non-spoilery? I don't really. I think I think we've basically covered it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, to, to me, this, this, the strength of this movie was the cast was great. Yep. Uh, and and I think yeah, I I just very much enjoyed the, the and having to step up. Yeah. And try yeah. and fill this hole that you just cannot fill. Yeah. But yeah. again, I think if you are expecting very light-hearted fun, no. if you've come off She-Hulk to this, you might <laughs> there might be a sort of tonal whiplash. Yeah. But uh, you got you got to factor that in. There were there is there's some sort of heavy topics uh, discussed in this. But uh, yeah, I think uh, good, good. I'm cut. glad they didn't bring him back uh, as a CGI character or something. Like mm. they don't do any of that, which yeah. I think was a really nice decision. Yeah. <laughs> and showed great restraint. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say best movie ever. Yeah, I think. Look, I don't want to watch it again. Okay. Because it's kind of grim. And it goes for way too long. You're saying pacing, pacing wise, yeah. Let's let's go to spoilers now. Yeah. We're in spoilers right now. But what? I do, yeah. I'd say best movie ever. But it's, it's what would you cut out? Would you cut anything out? Again, the thing with the Everett Ross. Everett Ross. Uh-huh. It's like that. That probably that tour of underwater city. 
maybe get rid of that. Maybe okay, you can right. just imagine what it is. Oh, yeah, okay, You know, sure. just be like, yeah, no, it's amazing. Yeah, right, it's, right. Just, it's just behind this door, but uh-huh. we can't open it because it's all water. Would and, you cut out the Ironheart stuff? Maybe I think not, you, maybe not. I Because uh, you, you could. I think you could, yeah. But I also think I get why they didn't because she's going to be out of series. <laughs> so, That's true, yes. you got to introduce her somehow. Exactly, yeah. yeah, but no, you could yeah, remove yeah, yeah. that, yes. I yeah. think you definitely could. Also, I liked how they were like, Okay, we built you this Ironheart suit. You obviously can't take it back with you to to America. Yeah. So just in case, we need to redesign it for uh, for the new series, which we will. Yeah, we're which gonna... definitely because we've got to sell more Funko Pops, <laughs> yeah, as right. we as we previously mentioned. But we're uh, in spoilers, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Surprise cameo, I thought. Um, uh, Lake Bell at the start. As, oh yeah. As, uh, I thought she was going to be in it more. Me too. But then they killed her. Did they, they killed her in that helicopter? Oh, did she actually die, or I did think it so. just crash? I mean, it crashed in the ocean. Yeah, but and it's she, the ocean. They, the ocean. Then, she'd probably just swim back to the boat. Do a little paddle, do a dog paddle. I mean, paddle. she's got, she's got uh, all those swimming skills from the TV series Surface that she was on. I remember that show. Mm-hmm. I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, but she's also, the. we've talked about this, the voice of Black Widow in the What If That's series. That's right, yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think she'll be back. Oh, you reckon? We didn't see her, like, get decapitated or anything. Maybe she'll get Atlantis powers. Maybe she will get big Atlantis powers, Mason. Mm-hmm, yeah. Another surprise, like, no, not really. I wasn't really that surprised. Okay, go ahead. But uh, Killmonger is in this. Uh, oh, yes. When uh-huh. she retakes, she, she's the Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Takes the for a time, she takes the the purple herb and whatever that she three D prints using technology and magic or whatever. Uh-huh. And you go into a you go into the. Afterlife. I think some of that could have been. Like, I don't know. The, don't the, do three D printing. No, I don't. I just thought some <laughs> Take, of the, make a quicker three D printer. Maybe I think some of the science was a little just hand wavy, but uh, I mean, just moving it, some it, DNA. And, yeah, moving some DNA. Well, that's what they do. I in didn't this. move. I didn't move the DNA enough. Tony Stark did time travel with a hologram in like thirty seconds. Do you remember? In Endgame. Oh, yeah, that's He was like, true. flip-flop, dip, look at he me. He did flip-flop, dip, didn't he? <laughs> I felt some of the dialogue was kind of clunky. Okay. Like there's a moment where uh, Shuri and the Queen are on the beach and they meet Namor for the first time. Yeah. And they're like, he's got wings on his ankles. I don't yeah. remember. I don't okay. remember that at all. Can you see, are you seeing this? <laughs> you see the wings on his ankles? Was that to point it out so we, the audience, Yeah, but I'm like, I feel like we, w- we would have got that from context. Yeah, yeah. I'm not leaving the cinema because I'm unsure of what's on his ankles yeah. or where his wings are located or why he can oh, fly. You were close, I reckon. I was thinking about you. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Speaking of the wings on the ankles, where he gets one of them cut off towards the end. Yes. That fight on the, the shore at the end between uh-huh. him and Shuri, yes. I thought that was great. It was great. Like yeah. really brutal and just... And mostly, I think, from memory, it, it, there was, like, no music. I mean, she does get impaled. She and does. not like a movie impaled where, like, it's through the s- shoulder, you'll be fine. It's, like, right through her. Yeah. And she's she's got the nano suit. And she's got the nano suit up. and then she had the herbs. She had the herbs. That's true, exactly. And she's, she moved that DNA. She moved the DNA around, yeah. But I know. She could probably move her guts around. Like, she probably learned it from Atlantis. She probably, One yeah, of those little kids was, was, like, probably, like, hey, it's <laughs> how we move our like guts this. around. Yeah, Like this. Like this. <laughs> what do you think? It's cool. It is cool. Oh, just getting quickly back to Killmonger, I bet they regret killing him off because I feel like of, like of the people who have been in this movie who's like these movies who's a big movie star. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. He, he, you could rehabilitate that character. That's and, true, And yeah. put him in the middle of it. I mean, and, they still could potentially. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because I guess, well, here's the thing though. Shuri doesn't believe there's an afterlife. No. In, at least initially. So did she actually go to and, the... Well, maybe there isn't too, you know. Maybe yeah. it's all hallucinations. Maybe it and, is. and be, But I guess if if we go, if we take it as given that the, the afterlife is real yeah. based on, you know, or, or at least the Wakandan afterlife is real in that way, that means he's definitively dead. Yeah. But at the end of the first one, you could, I, I think you could have gone, oh, he, he, was, he was dead for a minute, but then we used, yeah. we used a technology. Yeah, we used a big technology. We used a big it. technology. But also, we it, hit him with all the DNA balls and he came back to life. But I guess at this point, if you bring him back, then it's like. Why can't it, you bring back T'Challa? Exactly. Yeah. And you, you obviously can't do that. Well, they can do it in a different way, which we'll get to. Yes. Um, I thought this actually could have used more M'Baku. I thought uh-huh. he's, Winston Duke is always great. Uh, and I think you see his character kind of mallow out. And because he did become friends. With T'Challa, mm-hmm. yeah. like you see that he's kind of in this, he's not like vying for power. Yes. It seems he just wants to do what's best for the kingdom and, and all of that. And I thought it was a very interesting move at the end that he's probably the king now, it seems. Hmm. He's King ralph it. He's King ralph it, yeah. <laughs> he's just the one guy left and they're like, all right. Well, I'll do it. Because, yeah. of course, the queen dies in this, yes. uh, which, which surprised me actually. But I thought... I mean, I'd love to see him in, in a, like a big Black Panther yes, suit. Yes, yes. Just, just really good. It was very – what's interesting, I think, is it, it in the initial 
Wakanda Forever trailers, it was quite ambiguous as who was in the Black Panther suit. Mm. Like when you, you you see the character land. Yeah. And and in retrospect, I'm like, there's no way anybody but Letitia Wright could <laughs> yeah, have fit in that suit. Yeah. Like when you see her yeah. on screen, it's like yeah. very, very slight. Very slight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to see him in a big Black Panther suit. That'd be great. Yeah. I mean, he's got the gorilla motif, so maybe they'll give him the... Well, because she has like... Some of the dots on her forehead are similar to some of the some of the face paint she had in like the previous movie. Yes, I don't that's think right. that's how some people like mm. figured it out. It's my understanding. Oh, so, yeah. I see right, right, right. So okay. yeah, you could add some elements of you know yeah. of his region or whatever to his suit. I thought that this also, this movie had that thing of like you see Shuri like kill a bunch of like she pinwheels across the side of that Black Panther ship or whatever, uh-huh, killing yeah. a, a bunch of those underwater people. Mm-hmm. And then you see Okoye like kills her nemesis, the guy that she fought on the bridge in her new yes. Iron Man Predator uh-huh. suit. Yes. Which I didn't love. Yeah, I didn't love it either. Yeah. Weird extraneous bits. Yeah. Just... It's weird when the mask comes off. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's just like the front bit and the, mm. the whatever. Give her a Black Panther suit. Give her right? a Black Panther suit. She said, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's had the Black Panther suit in the comics. Probably, yeah. yeah. But I mean, maybe this is a direct comic book reference. I don't know yeah. enough about the series, I, I think, to recognize. But it did look, I don't know. It looked like that Predator suit from the end of The Predator. It did, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Okoye gets to kill her nemesis guy from the bridge. Uh-huh. And, but then at the end, Shuri's like, oh, I won't kill this guy because of... But it, I, I feel like that doesn't gel with, like, everybody else, including her who's just murdered a bunch of people right. prior. Okay, sure, yeah, like, yeah. And we've seen this in lots of movies where yes. it's like, well, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to learn from this or whatever. Yeah, it's right, just right. Felt a bit What about of... all those other guys that were just here to feed their families? <laughs> they were just here for a paycheck. You killed them. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Batman. Batman. What do you think about that truce that sort of happened when Namor's like, well, when they come for us, then we're going to have a I liked it. I liked how sneaky and namor it was. I think he just got lucky. Yeah, no, for sure. He's just <laughs> and he was just trying to save yeah, yeah. face. No, actually, this was always part of the plan. I'm, yeah. I'm so many steps ahead. I'm, I'm jokering it. Yeah, this is really great. Again, like to speak to that final battle of they didn't just have the same powers. He's as strong as the Hulk potentially, yeah, and I know he was underpowered at that point because he was like it was. <laughs> they all, toasted him. It was all dried. <laughs> they put him in a big microwave. <laughs> That's right. It was all dried out, but he was still very dangerous mm. in comparison to her. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things that I thought was. Uh, Interesting, I guess, for the future is yes. we find out that T'Challa had a son yes. called T'Challa. Correct, yes. Who is the, the heir to the throne. Yes. And so it looks like they're just going to not recast mm-hmm. Black Panther but just bring in maybe 10, 10 years at least from yeah, now, right. uh-huh. uh, may, maybe more, maybe or less right. with time Age travel. him up with magic Age him up somehow, and whatever. Yeah. They could say he goes into the spirit realm and then yeah. he comes back five minutes later and he's like, I'm 30 now. <laughs> And I'm the ki- and I'm Black Panther. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. I think the smart thing would be to wait at least ten years. Yes, because I think that's what they're doing. They're setting mm. they're, they're setting this up. They're future proofing this yeah. for down the line. James, let me ask you this question. Yeah, when Kevin Feige leaves, yeah. and the new guy, whatever new guy comes in, you, and, yeah, when it's me, yeah, and I look at what has come before, and I go, huh, Kevin Feige used all the good stories. What what do I do? Do I just? We've got this, don't you? That's true, I guess. You've got new Black Panther. Yeah. No, do I is the is the next And an 80-year-old Robert Downey Jr. Is the next is the next creative head of Marvel gonna keep on moving and hope that like are they gonna draw from like newer stories? Yeah. Or are they just gonna reboot like they do with uh like you know your X-Men franchise? Are they just gonna <sighs> go, let's do the Infinity Saga again, but slightly different? Yeah, mate. I think because it is something people remember. I think there's a chance where they're like the Infinity Stones are back. Right. And the glove is it's even glovier. Last time it was a solid glove. This time it's a gl- like it's a loose glove, like the comics. Oh yeah, great, <laughs> you know? terrific, yeah. Just a weird leather glove mm-hmm. with stones on. It. Yeah, I this think time it- Christian Glover has them all, <laughs> and he's weird. You don't know what he's gonna do. I don't like him. He's, he's, I think he's, weird. He's, I think he's nice, but I don't know. He's yeah, got a no, weird I don't, face. I don't actually, know him, yeah. Uh, I, well, that's that's actual dialogue. You, thank you for writing some of that dialogue. Yeah, I don't actually know him. That's know a great know. question. I mean, but you do have an. Nearly infinite amount of stories to draw on. But that's the thing. On. I, but I mean, so did the and X- they haven't done. So did the X Men. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And they haven't. And they did Dark Phoenix twice. Yes. But they and potentially they, three times. Yeah, maybe. And mm. they haven't done like any X Men stuff in the MCU. That's true. And they haven't done any Fantastic Four stuff mm. in the MCU. Yeah. And so that alone, that's ten years of storytelling. That's true. Just there, but it also feels like Kevin Feige is going to do that. Yeah. Uh huh. Before. Yeah, well, I'm not even saying like. Do you, do you jump over to the ultimate universe or something? Well, that's maybe what to I'm the thinking. The ultimate universe, but yeah, because I, I feel like 
I don't think they would extend the. I, I don't think they would go in the same continuity. Okay, the Infinity Stones are back. I think they would just mm. like it'd be a full recast and then just uh, yeah. a, a reset and go. Okay, we're doing the origin of Iron Man again. Yeah, you know he's back. He's back. Or he's a child. Remember who was a child yeah, that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and right. And they aged him up through a portal. Yes, mm. I remember. Good ideas there. <laughs> That right. maybe Marvel should be taking note of. That's right. Because the current Tony Stark is still the kid Tony Stark. Is that right? Who got aged? No, the, they didn't. The original Tony Stark turn evil, and then they brought. Kid okay, James. What, James, what happened? Okay, James, okay. What did happen in the comic books? The original Tony Stark went evil because Kang went back in time and like made him evil. Yeah, and so the only similar thing happened to Captain America. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. So what they did? So what happened is I think the Avengers or Force Works or somebody went back in time and they got a teenage Tony Stark before he went evil and they brought him into the present day. Yeah. And then they defeated uh, evil Tony Stark, but then young Tony Stark got an like got the exact same heart injury that, that yes old Tony Stark got necessitating on, on, on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> he did it as a prank. Yeah. Uh, and then. Then he was young Tony Stark until what was called the Heroes Reborn event. Do you remember that? They, yeah. They they basically Marvel basically licensed out a bunch of like their badly selling titles, and they got them. They got like a bunch of image creators to do new books. So they did a new Iron Man. They did a new Avengers. They did a new Fantastic Four. Mm. And then he was an adult. They they he went into a pocket dimension. Yeah. All these characters went into a pocket dimension, and then he was an adult again. Mm. And then when he came back out of that, he was just an adult again. Yes. And like when he back, went back to the main Marvel universe, he was just an adult. That's again. what I mean. So the original Tony Stark now is not the the Tony Stark now is not the original Tony Stark. He's this kid who got aged up. No, in he kind of is. No, no. You can see what they did is they just went because they went ah uh, the the pocket dimension was a result, a result of Franklin Richards, who's this reality bending Typical. kid. He's, he's the you know I the, know who the, he is. The Fantastic Four's kid. All four of them. And um and they were just like I think they were just they were just like yeah it's Tony Stark he's back don't worry about it yeah so he has all the memories of original Tony Stark okay so. There you go. Yeah. It's like the Rimmer conundrum in Red Dwarf. The Ace Rimmer conundrum. Well, because the original Rimmer left. That's true. And then he was replaced by uh, original, original human River who was, Rimmer who was yeah. brought back from the dead. Because of the cloning. Yeah. But then he died when Red Dwarf, the ship, collapsed in on itself. Yes. And then in the next season, Hologram Rimmer is back. Yes. Who's presumed to be the Rimmer who left who became Ace Rimmer. Yes. But there is no explanation for any of it. Correct. Yeah. And that is comic books also. And in a that's nutshell. our Red Dwarf episode. We've done it again. <laughs> We've done it again. We've done so many Red Dwarf episodes. I agree. Um, okay, here's what I would do in the okay. future. If they hadn't done it, I would throw $50 million at Chris Evans uh-huh. and I would I would make him the core villain and I would do Captain Hydra. Nice. That's what I would do. Nice. Yeah. And people are like, yeah, Captain America's back. And he's like, I'm bad though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But I'm then, not as strong as a Hulk now, yeah. probably. But he turns good, you know. Yeah, nice. Yeah, terrific. Like in the comic. But, right. you know, take a take a hero that was beloved and, mm. you know, flip it. I think that yeah. would be. That's right. Know, that, Do we have any, what, what else, what else spoilery happened in Black Panther? I mean, the, him having a son, that is, that is unprecedented. And I don't believe he has a son in, no, in the comic certainly books. certainly not a son with the same name. No, that's right. I kind of, I feel, I don't know how I feel about this because it does feel like a recast. Yeah, uh-huh. Which I don't really have a problem with. I'm, yeah. you know, they didn't go in that direction, which is also probably it's probably a good idea because yes. it's very soon. It just happens, uh-huh. but they've just made the same character. Yeah, like Hon- potentially the same Honestly, character again. Now that I've now that I brought it up in a in a somewhat joking manner, yeah, it would not shock me at all. Especially if this comes out of the hands of Ryan Coogler. Mm. Like from what I can tell, like this this was a lot of work. Like this, I wanted to this talk about this that. guy. I wanted to because. There's speculation, and we've even, even talked about it, like maybe he's going to do Secret Wars. I mean, would you? Yeah, right. This would have been exhausting, like yeah. living with this movie and yeah. making this movie yeah, yeah. just crushing. Yeah, but it, what I feel like is if he doesn't do the next one and they go, we need a black pant, like that, I think it wouldn't shock me if they were like, okay, adult recast this T'Challa. Yeah. And then he just goes off into the spirit realm and then he comes back and they, they go, decades passed in the spirit realm and he comes back and he's like, now I'm going to be Black Panther. And we yeah. go, okay, I guess. Yeah, I think it's too soon for that. They shouldn't yeah. do that. But, but it would, I wouldn't put it past them. Right, yes. To do it. I think there's so many other characters you could do. I want to see Mbaku-led Black Panther movie. Yes. You know, because I f- feel like for this Shuri as well, and this also might reflect real life because she's had some views concerning vaccines, which also means that maybe they don't want to give her this franchise. Sure, you yeah. Know? I think that's, that's possible. Mm-hmm. But I think... 
it also felt like her character didn't really want to be Black Panther. Right. Like yeah. she did it because mm. it had to be done and they yep. needed a Black Panther at this point in time. Uh-huh. But then I got the sense by the end she was just like, well, I did it and I don't want to be in mm. charge. I don't want yeah. to. I, I did the thing I had to do. You know we could give it to? Bran Stark. <laughs> That's right. He the can most, do it. The most interesting man in all he's of so Westeros. He's so interesting. He's got all the stories. <laughs> uh. He's basically an Encarta CD, Mason. Yeah, he that's sucks. Right. That's right, but he's got that Weezer video <laughs> in him, you know? In him, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with any of this. There's so many options, though, and luckily yeah. there's so many good people in this that's movie true, that, yeah. you could, that you could do spin-offs and shows and sequels yeah. and all of that and fold them into Secret Wars and, yeah. and whatever. But uh, honestly, like, the next thing that I would want to see yes. is – what does M'Baku look like as King and Black Panther? <laughs> yeah, 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 what does yeah. that look like? What else has Winston Duke been in? Uh, he was in um, the one with uh, Jordan Peele and there's, everyone's got a clone under the earth. Oh, us. Well, yeah. so was Lupita Nyong'o, so yeah. Exactly, right. yeah. But what else else is what I'm saying. Well, that's a great question. And I love him in an interview as well. Mm. I hope he doesn't get cancelled, Mason. <laughs> okay, great. Because I've come out and said that I yeah. like him. I hate it when that happens. Oh, pretty much. I mean, not not a ton, I guess. Spencer Confidential. Did you watch that? I watched some of that. I watched I watched Mark Wahlberg beat up Post Malone. <laughs> like I don't need to see any more of this. Oh yeah, he's he was Bruce Wayne in Batman Unburied. We didn't oh, have yeah, that of as course. well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Love that. Okay. Yeah, and he's going to be in the remake of The Fall Guy. What was the original for The Fall Guy? It was uh, Lee Majors, the um the six million dollar man. Oh. It's about a stunt man. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, yeah, mm-hmm. great stuff, Mason. Anyways, if uh, you've probably seen this if you if you wanted to already. It was also in was... Nine Days. I'm presuming a movie, not the, the band Nine Days. Wasn't there the – no, I'm thinking of the Ninth Day, the Arnold Schwarzenegger cloned the movie. Sixth the Day. Sixth Day, yeah. Can't I'm thinking know. of a different number. I'm thinking of a different number. That's true. <laughs> and, Anyways, you know, we've got some uh, reviews here, Mason, of people have written in, including C Ray says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, just finished Wakanda Forever. Water bombs are awesome. Namor and Atuma were the highlights. Best movie ever. Best pod ever. Oh, yeah. Still. This all, so, so Akoya's nemesis is Atuma. Yeah. And it's not Atuma. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, and and we also get Namora, who is, yeah. who is uh, Namor's cousin, who is kind of, you know, she, she's a. Important character in the in the Marvel sure. comic books, but just like hey, I'm here too. I'm here too. Yeah, cool man. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I kind of remember when this. Yeah, I think maybe at she the had end, a nice headdress. I thought. But at the end, I realized I'm like, oh yeah, I think is that right? <laughs> well, because in the comic book, she's also blonde. She's yeah. like she's yeah. So I, I don't know. Sounds to me, Mason, like they really made a mistake because I didn't recognize it instantly. That's right. It's from Lord who says, hashtag, should have had a T-shirt. I agree. Namora on it. This is from Lord. No way. Hashtag Weekly oh, Planet Pod. Okay. It says, I saw Wakanda Forever. Love the story, costumes, and sto- score. Good job of what was always going to be a daft villain. Bit stalled with uh, magic swipey tech. Yep. That's, you'd agree with that, I assume. Mm. Uh, rant. Because there's tech and yes. it's a hologram, but you can, it looks like you can physically grab an orb. You can grab an orb. Because Tony Stark's just... Just just waving around a blue hologram. These guys are next level. Uh, Random Army's new character has been given five-minute intros when Marvel generates so much screen time. Best movie ever. It's from T-Bell who says, Saw Black Panther and thought it was fine. Slightly longer than needed, but a fitting tribute to Chadwick. Namor is cool, but feel his homeworld was a bit dull. Thought it was missing something and felt like side characters going on an adventure. It's from Emperor Bailey who says, of all the possible new Panthers, Shuri, Mbaku, Nakia, Okoye, Ramonda, the person I wanted least got it. Uh Unsure they have the chops to carry the franchise. Uh, Best movie ever though. Intense emotional climax and weird fish man with anchor wings. Maybe better than the first? Um, It's very different. They are, it's true. Yeah. Thinking about the tech. Yeah. What didn't you like about the Ironheart suit? Something for me. Yeah, smooth. It looked like a – it reminded me like of a – well, you said Funko Pop. But yeah. yeah. Like just, a Power Rangers there suit. There was no, like, it, you know how, like, they smooth out the Spider-Man suit? Yes. It was like that for an Iron mm. Man situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked the look of it. It didn't feel real, it, I think. It didn't yeah. feel real, but also I felt like it didn't feel like it had any distinct weaponry or anything like that yeah. to it. Whereas, you know, the Iron Man suits, you 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 know... You could go, okay, well he's got the you know, he's got those shoulder dart launches and he's yeah. got the repulses. I mean he also whatever. like levels up his suit. No, that's true, yeah. Goes, but, but I I felt this was oh, from a from a you know, a weapon basis, it just felt like sort of generic. Yeah. Which maybe I I I thought the look was good, but I think it should have and you're right, it didn't feel it didn't feel very tactile. No. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway you know. What do I know? That's right. <laughs> but I I suspect what'll happen in 
in the series is we'll get some sort of amalgam. Yeah. You know, we'll get we'll get something more tactile. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe it's like, well, this one looks super space age. Yeah. But in this it'll look more grounded Prince in Wakanda the new one. Whatever, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. This is from Harley Faux Show, who says, went to watch Wakanda Forever. Don't know how I feel about it. However, the trailer for new Gerard Butler movie, Plane Has Fallen, showed the entire <laughs> Excuse film me? in a two-minute segment. So I don't so I don't need to see that now. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Yeah, he's got a new movie called Plane. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, I haven't okay, seen right. the trailer for it. I haven't it seen yet. the trailer, but I did see the poster. Incredible stuff. Cool. Um at the start of uh, prior to uh, Black Panther, the two trailers in front of it were Creed Three and Quantumania. Creed. Oh yeah, and so like two two Jonathan Major movies in a row. I'm like, he's a, he's gonna have he's a good a year. Major time, wouldn't you say, Mason? Yes, yes, he would. Everybody, nice. But then I would be like, like, because his name's Jonathan Majors. Is that what you would say? It's what I'd say. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, you didn't make that connection, but I did. I still haven't made it. I don't know what you're talking about, Mason. Let's move on before I get lost in the source. Okay. All right. Do you know what the time is for? Do you know what 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 would you do now? <laughs> Just <laughs> stop. He's flailing. <laughs> oh, no. James, hold it together. We just have to do our famous segment, What We Read and yep. What We Gonna Read. Now, this is actually the perfect opportunity for that. Nice. 